Hi friends, this is Rishabh Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. In this tutorial guys, I'll teach about table headers, call span and row span. In the previous tutorial, we made a simple table. Now you can see the heading, serial number, speed, downloading and amount. But guys, these are not looking like headings. We have to differentiate it. So in order to do, do that, we will use table heading. So, th is the tag for table headings. So we will remove it first and use th tag instead of using td tag. I'll copy it. I want to make four headings. So my first heading was serial number and second heading was speed. Third was downloading and fourth was amount. Now you will refresh if I'll refresh it now you can see these are properly looking like headings so uh, because its text is bold and it is different from the column text so guys this about this was about table headings now guys think that we want to show a title on the top of the table that what uh, about that my internet plans or what are the my uh, what are my internet plans so i will add a title at the top of the table so in order to do that we will Add a row at the top of table. So I will use th tag. Now, okay. guys, uh, I will give a title my internet plans. If I refresh it now, you can see this is just covering a column because I have just uh, enter the value of a one column so it will definitely cover one column but it is looking so ugly it is not looking like a title so in order to do that we have to merge rest of the rest of the columns so in order to do that we will use call span call span equal to if we it depends upon uh, if we enter two then it will merge two columns so we have four columns so we have to give it value of four now you can see it is now properly looking like a heading so this was about call span guys so from this it is clarified that call spans are using to merge columns so now i will teach about row span so firstly make one more heading and give it discount means to whom I will give this discount or special discount so now these are five columns so I will give it the value of five so now it's looking better so I want to merge the rows as well so I will use row spam firstly I will enter the data I will enter 10 percent for students call for call students mm, this was the mistake I forgot to open the tag close it down. So what is showing this this rule this yes now you can see ten percent for college students one more mistake spelling mistake now you can see ten percent for college students I want to merge these rows also because it, the rest of two rows are blanks so it is not looking well so it is not looking good sorry so in order to merge it we will use row span row span equal to how much rows do we want to merge one two and one and this one including this one two three so I will enter the value of three I will enter three so now you can see three rows have been merged so row span is used to merge rows so enough for this tutorial guys don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video let's see in the next tutorial